let's have a look at extending types in GraphQL. So GraphQL is great at helping you to do data modeling for multiple data sources. But sometimes you've got data coming from one data source and data coming from another data source. And instead of having to overwrite the existing type definitions, you want to create an extended type, meaning that you can take the already created type definition in GraphQL and extend it with additional fields. For this, you will be using the extend keyword, which is available in the GraphQL specification. In VS Code, I've created a GraphQL API based on a MySQL database. So what I've done, I've used the command steps and import MySQL to import an already existing MySQL database and turn its MySQL schema or the database schema into a GraphQL API, including some type definitions in GraphQL SDL and also a set of queries that we can use to get data out of the database. For example, you have a type called customer and you also have a type called order. And they have a relationship together because if you look here, you can see type order has a customer ID. So using this and using the query called get customer by ID, I can actually link up the data, meaning that I can add the customer details to the type order. And this will work something like this. I could add a new field called customer. Uh, it would have the return type of customer. And then I would use a add materializer, which is a GraphQL, which is a custom directive we've built at StepSen to make it possible to combine different data sources all directly in your GraphQL schema. So if I would type get customer by ID, it is a query I have down here, get customer by ID. It will take a field ID, which is of type integer. Let's see, this is actually an array. Uh, in here I have name ID, is the field customer ID, which I have here. It will be saving this, my GraphQL API will be redeployed. Meaning that I would be able to query this data already. I would be going to a graphical interface. Let me open the graphical in a different screen. So if I'd open the GraphQL API in a graphical explorer, I can actually use the query I just created to get a list of orders and then also get a the customer for these orders. I can type customer, but I can also can get the customer field directly, which will get the name. So what will happen is whenever you include the customer field, Stepson will send a second GraphQL query to get a customer by its ID. And this is all done by adding the add materializer inside your, and this is all done by adding the materializer inside your GraphQL schema. But we don't really want to add this declaration here, because if we define it right here, what happens if you regenerate the GraphQL schema based on a change in the database? So what we'll be doing instead is we can use extent. We can actually use extent wherever we want. We can also use it here. So what we can do is we can say extent type order, and then we can extend the type order like this. And we make sure to save this file as well as we deleted it here. And we've included it here. So this will redeploy my steps and GraphQL API. And then if I would be going back to graphical, I can still query the same API in exactly the same way because nothing has changed. And instead I have extended the type order, meaning that if I regenerate my MySQL um, if I regenerate my GraphQL API based on the MySQL database, nothing will be lost because this extension is still here. It's just in a separate file. Besides extending GraphQL types, we can also use interfaces. So with interfaces, we can, read it, we can reuse a set of type definitions for a different GraphQL type. Let's say you have a product and you also have a simple version of the product. And you also have an extended version of that product. So I have two types of products but you want to use the same set of fields in an interface. That's why you should have, so let's head back to VS Code and open up our MySQL.GraphQL file again. And we have a type called product here. So what we can do is we can actually copy paste this and make this an interface. So let's say interface product. 
has all these fields. It has a description, ID, and the title. And then we can also say type simple product, because maybe this is the bare minimum that you would expect of a product. Implements the interface product. So if we would save this, we first need to make sure that simple product is the return here. So get product list. And I can return the simple product. Meaning that nothing really has changed. Besides this time, I've created an interface called product that is implemented by this type. Meaning I can also create a second type. And maybe this is like a complex product. which also implements product, but maybe it has additional fields. Maybe it has information about features, which could be a string. It maybe also has different price variations. So maybe it doesn't have one single price. It has multiple prices determined on the features that you selected for the product. So that is another way to use, or actually to extend types in GraphQL without using the extend keyword. This time you will be using the interface and implement this interface on the types that you want to share the set of fields with, because the all they will all have description, ID, image, title, uh, meaning that if you would change any of these things into something that isn't recognized by the interface, it will translate to errors, and these errors will be on compile time. So these are the two ways that you can extend types in GraphQL for data modeling. So we saw you can use the extend keyword in case you want to add additional types to a GraphQL type without changing the for example, generated type using steps in. You can also use interfaces in case you want to reuse a set of fields. Let's say you have a product, and then this product has two variations, a simple and a complex one. They probably both share a set of fields, like an ID description or an image. If you want to reuse these fields, it's pretty, it's a good solution to go for interfaces. So make sure to subscribe to this channel if you like this content, because that way you will be updated the next time we release a video.